Hey guys, Dr. Ware checking in from Levine Veterinary Center. Well, we wanted to cover a couple topics, and you'll see this the next uh, couple weeks, on actual disease processes or states that can occur, um, and some of the things that we see more commonly. So the one I want to talk about today was lymphoma. Lymphoma is one of the most uh, common types of cancers that we see, and it originates from basically those the cells that help fight infection, those uh, lymphocytic cells or white blood cells. So normally these cells are kind of floating around the, around the body and looking for um, foreign material or bacteria, fungus, parasites, anything that's irregular that the body tries to get rid of or fight off. But sometimes those cells can abnormally grow and abnormally replicate, which means um, they can kind of reproduce one another. And that's kind of one of the definitions of, of cancer is uh, uncontrolled or unregulated uh, regrowth of itself. And so lymph nodes are basically centers where these lymphocytes um, are at. And we've all, all heard lymph nodes before. We've kind of got, got them under our neck and our armpits. And you know, we've, maybe some of us have had them enlarged when we've got um, an infection. Well, they can also become enlarged in dogs if um, they've got irregular cells in them. So that's kind of one of the signs that we see are dogs with big enlarged lymph nodes that kind of aren't feeling so well. And so that's one of the diagnostics that we'll do is we'll take a little needle and we'll poke that lymph node and pull back the cells and look at it under the microscope. And sometimes that can give us a diagnosis right away of this certain types of cancer. I guess the good thing is there are, you know, with, with modern medicine, there are treatments for it. You know, in people, they, when people with cancers, a lot of times they strive for a cure um, to eliminate the cancer completely. In dogs, that sometimes can't be a realistic pro probability and you know we can eliminate or in, even get these dogs into remission for long periods of time even you know a year and beyond sometimes um, but the reality is with this type of cancer specifically most of the times it comes back um, although you can have plenty of time with uh, great, really great quality of life um, and they respond really well to different types of treatments and medications so you know even though it's always a bummer to diagnose these guys you know, there is some there is some hope for them that we can kind of live out you know a long time even with with treatment so that's that's the good thing with modern medicine so thanks for checking in